In a world obsessed with sleek designs, aerodynamic curves and efficiency, there's one SUV that couldn't care less. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Mercedes AMG G63 based on the G-Wagon, a car that hasn't changed much since the time Disco was king and Air Jordans weren't a thing. But still, it is somehow the coolest kid on the block. Take a look. Now let's talk about the design. Because honestly, what else is left to say? It's boxy, unapologetically square, but that's exactly what we love about it. That flat roof, round LED headlights, AMG specific front bumper, everything here is a tribute to the original design that rolled out in the 70s. Only now, we've got dark chrome trim and enough carbon fibre accents to remind everyone it's AMG. And of course, those side-mounted exhausts too. It doesn't just stand out, it looms. It's already become a status symbol, but it pulls it off with style. And if you want to make yours a little bit more exclusive, Mercedes-Benz has a plethora of manufacturer options. We're talking about custom Napa leather interiors, plenty of upholstery, colour and finish options. Basically, you can make it look like it's prepped for a ram walk. Even the exterior colours come in a plethora of options. Step inside and you are in a completely different world. It may look all hardcore on the outside, but on the inside, you get these two massive screens with, which instantly remind you, this is a proper luxury Mercedes-Benz. In fact, all the materials that you see, all the surfaces, they're draped in Napa leather. And if it's not, there's carbon fibre. It's like someone at Mercedes-Benz asked, how do we honour this brute that's inspired from military operations and then someone said oh we know let's drape it in materials you would otherwise find in a private jet it's like those boxy speaker systems that have bluetooth connectivity internet streaming etc and yet they look like those retro radios from the world war era something like the marshall systems but hey wait this is mercedes-benz so let's talk high-end we are talking burmester dolby atmos 18 speakers it's the kind of audio experience that feels almost too posh for a car that's shaped like a bank vault because why not? Now under the hood, we've got Mercedes AMG's electrified 4-litre bi-turbo V8. It's good for almost 600 horsepower, 850 Newton meters of torque and it can do a top speed of 240 kilometers an hour because someone thought, why not make a car that looks like a post box do those kind of figures? Yeah, why not? The G-Wagon laughs in the face of aerodynamics. I've said this before, it punches a square hole through the air. And with the AMG, that punch is even stronger. And because it's electrified now, you also get an additional boost. It's like a follow-up punch. It's just crazy and you really need to experience it to believe how this big box can actually handle so well and just go for it. It attacks the horizon in a manner that I've never seen before because I've never sat so tall doing that. And the AMG trickery, it extends beyond the engine. They've also thrown in the active ride control at it, which means that it is countering the body roll in real time. I'm doing some ridiculous speeds here around the bends and I'm still able to have a conversation with you. This I've never seen before in a G-Wagon. Ah, that active suspension makes a lot of difference. And if you fancy some theatrics, you can also launch this car like a proper sports car. Yes, a 2.5 ton box like a proper sports car. Mm. And if you're feeling a bit brave, you're feeling a bit adventurous, you can also just flip through the driving modes and go off-roading with this. Yes, this AMG can go off the road and quite well. And if you do take it off-road, you've got the off-road cockpit. Wheel angle, incline, pitch, it's all there. There's also the transparent bonnet feature and a 3D camera view whenever you need it.
even the rear passengers get screens which show all this off-road data, roll, pitch, angle, all of that to tell them just how close they are or at what angle they are on the mountain slope or how close they are to rolling over. It's basically rear seat reality TV. For those who might just think of the G-Wagon as a Sunday casual drive car. So why you may ask, is the G63 one of the best selling AMGs of all time? Well, it's simple. It laughs in the face of convention. While every other SUV is trying to be sleek and efficient, the G63 is a celebration of brute force. Like I said, it's a status symbol, but with an actual story. Wars, fire trucks, heads of state, 6x6, 4x4 squared, it's done it all. It's a legend on four wheels with no desire to confirm. It's a statement of sorts. It fits perfectly at the Beverly Hills, outside the Antilla, as it does in the Thar Desert or even at Khardungla. It's a legend on four wheels, one that makes a statement. You could have gone practical, but where's the fun in that? The G63 AMG is living proof that sometimes old ways are better. Like how this video might just look better on a television screen hooked up to a surround sound system than watching it on a phone. And how this review might read much better and seem more charming from a magazine. Proper print on paper. Mm. 